Coming up on this episode of The Secret Gardens, we escape to the shores of Carmel, California, where a seaside garden is framed by sculpted trees. The cypress trees bring all the character in the world to this garden. Also, a hidden garden holds a stone tower built by the heart of a poet. And he built it as a love monument to his wife, Una. And later, a holly jolly garden growing in the heart of California. Our private tour is just ahead on The Secret Gardens. Sitting on a breathtaking stretch of the California seacoast, it's easy to see why Carmel is known as the village by the sea. It's a picturesque community, 125 miles south of San Francisco. And like the city by the bay, Carmel is known more for its cool coastal fog than surf or sunshine. Long stretches of pristine beaches make Carmel a quiet romantic getaway that's perfect for dreamy walks by the ocean spray. But visitors who are captivated by the crashing waves often miss another of Carmel's natural beauties. Usually the comment is, oh my goodness, I didn't know all this was here. <laughs> Using Carmel's sandy bluffs as a natural barrier, Suzanne Diamond and her landscape designer have cultivated a secret garden right here next to the sea. This is most definitely a secret garden because no one can see it and you walk through the gate and there's an explosion of color and it's so terribly inviting and warm and comfortable within the gated walls of the garden. In the front courtyard, lush carpets of foxglove, armeria, and alstroemeria paint the ambiance for the home's French Provence style. The style is named for a region in southern France. We wanted to make this garden feel as though you would almost believe that you were in Provence. The architecture of the house is, is straight from Provence. Many of the pavers and the tiles are right out of Provence. Even the aged courtyard fountain, which looks so at home under the California sunshine, once graced a garden in France. I think that the fountain really sets the tone for the garden. It's the segue between the architecture and, and the garden. It really is the focal point of this entire courtyard. But a glimpse through the window of the home hints at more surprises to come. An ornamental gate tucked away on the side of the home entices visitors to explore a narrow path, leading to a breathtaking sight. A garden growing right at the edge of the ocean. First your eye is caught by the fabulous expanse of the cypress trees and the crashing surf beyond. Here the rugged natural backdrop of the Pacific Ocean defines the landscape and the plantings take their cue from nature. Sandhill sage, French lavender and whimsical cone-shaped plants called the pride of Madeira blend into the panorama of surf and sand. It is much more expansive. It's planted in large sweeps. It's planted so that it has a feeling of drifting off out into the ocean. A bubbling pool on the upper terrace imitates the frothy surf of the ocean below. Well, the garden actually was designed to be viewed from the terrace, um, primarily because that's where you most frequently are. But secluded paths roll through the oceanfront garden, enticing guests to leave the terrace and explore. And gliding through the waves of colorful poppies and shrubs, visitors embark on a voyage across a sea of exotic flowers. Low-lying rock rose shrubs surprise people with their delicate pink flowers. But the real stars of this California Shangri-La are the cypress trees. Twisted into exotic shapes by the coastal wind, the trees create an unforgettable landscape. 
The cypress trees bring all the character in the world to this garden. The cypress trees seem to conform with the wind, and that's what gives them their interesting shapes. And many painters come to this area to paint the cypress trees. And peeking through the cypress trees of this very private retreat, an unexpected view reveals a very famous landmark of Carmel, California, the Pebble Beach Golf Course. These are precious views of the California coastline, framed by the landscape of a secret garden. A garden that's every bit as breathtaking as the seacoast of Carmel. Coming up, a poet's retreat on a bluff overlooking the coast. Beautiful gardens abound all over the world, but one in such a magical spot is quite unique. And later, we'll peek inside the gardens of one of Carmel's most exclusive hotels. The Secret Gardens returns in a moment. It's a whole... Brimming with the unspoiled beauty of its natural coastline, Carmel, California inspires visitors just as it has for centuries. From the builders of its famous historic mission to decades of writers and artists, the land and sea have attracted admirers from far and wide. So it's not a surprise that one of California's most famous poets chose Carmel as his home. Robinson Jeffers was 27 years old when he first came to Carmel in 1914 and he spent his lifetime here, capturing Carmel's seascapes in his poetry. But few realize a secret garden waits behind the stone walls of the historic home, which Jeffers built on the Carmel coast. Yes, it is hidden and tucked away, and I think part of the reason is they say, oh, well, we know Jeffers' house is there, but they never take the time to come here. But when they do come in and actually enter the garden and see the house, they're startled at the beauty of it. Jeffers named his seaside home Tor House, taking the name from a Gaelic word for rock outcropping. The rugged word reflects the ancient stones of granite that fill the garden with old world charm. Exquisite iris, sunny daisies, and alyssum spill out over lush flower beds, echoing the timeless feel of the granite. But it was the old-fashioned romance of Jeffers' heart that envisioned the 40-foot tower overlooking the garden. The tower was built from 1920 to 1924 by the poet who rolled stones up from the beach and he built it as a love monument to his wife, Una. So it's sort of a Western Taj Mahal perched here on the coast of California. This romantic getaway inspired Jeffers writings for the next 40 years. Today, Tor House and its gardens are open to the public, perhaps inspiring poetic verse in the minds of its visitors. Beautiful gardens abound all over the world, but one in such a magical spot is quite unique. Visitors meandering along the winding paths of the garden discover gems in unexpected places. Jeffers tucked secret tributes to the arts into the walls and gardens of Tor House. Well, in the tower itself, there's a stone from Lord Byron's estate in the walls. So you, I think Jeffers was trying to create a collection of stones that represented the best of Western civilization. Stones collected from the homes of famous Irish writers are cloistered away with ballast from old ships. A green ceramic tile from a temple in China hides in this stone wall of Carmel, while abalone shells linked to early natives of California nestle into lush flower beds. It suddenly becomes alive, so you not only see a beautiful garden, but you see history, world history, civilization, culture, literature. So it's a garden where you get much more for your money and all of these little secrets you'd never know. 
Trees wrapping around the home were planted by Jeffers himself to bring seclusion to his family's private retreat. When one looks up at them towering over the rooftop uh, and thinks that there were little seedlings that he watered by hand some 80 years ago, it's startling to see the connection still maintained. But it's the billowing beds of calla lilies, lavender, and soft blossoms that complete the amazing story of Tor House. The delicate flowers in comparison to this massive, powerful tower, I think the contrast between the two is what makes people, I think, startled and astounded at the uh, amazing beauty and contrast between flowers and stone. Tor House is a romantic vision created by the heart of a poet. It's a secret now shared that whispers the beauty and history of Carmel, California. Still ahead, your chance to explore the private gardens of an exclusive hotel. And later, citrus and holly berries grow side by side as the secret gardens continues. If your kid... Designed to resemble a quaint European village, Carmel, California is an idyllic gathering place for artists, writers, and poets. Today, nearly 100 studios and galleries fill the cloistered courtyards of this small village. You won't find neon lights here, nor will you find a street address. Even one of Carmel's famous hotels keeps a low profile. Tucked away on a sleepy tree-lined street, the exclusive La Playa Hotel holds a surprise. A secret garden crafted by a celebrated artist hides behind its walls. It's in a residential area in Carmel, and you will not realize it's there unless you take the time to walk through the lobby and into the backside to look at it. But within the hotel's inner courtyards, lucky explorers discover a dazzling mix of colorful delphinium, primrose, violas, and more. Lush flower beds line the expansive emerald lawn, with hidden surprises peeking out from soft foliage. The charming gardens are designed to enhance the view from the windows of the hotel's Mediterranean-style mansion. Now open to guests, these romantic visions were once reserved for a young newlywed couple as part of their private home. The estate was created in 1904 by Christopher Jorgensen, an artist known for his paintings of California landscapes and Yosemite National Park. He wanted a splendid home for his bride with a sweet story of her own. She was a member of the San Francisco family that founded Ghirardelli Chocolate. Jorgensen wanted to please his new wife, and he wanted to create his own living masterpiece. There were a lot of artists in Carmel at that time, painting garden scenes and flowers and that kind of thing. So I'm sure that Chris Jorgensen had planned on his home here having gardens for him to paint. Today, the garden remains true to its historical roots. Stunning bougainvillea vines climb the walls of the estate, while fields of daisies provide a canvas for splashes of playful blossoms. And while the garden may appear to be growing on its own, this carefree look takes a lot of careful planning. Because it's an old building, I like the garden to look old, too. And whenever you have something planted and you let it grow over the edges, it's going to look like it's been there for a long time. And that's the look that I like. Visitors exploring the historic walkways are enticed by the soothing sounds of water coming from a fountain on the formal patio. Here, the artful views of the garden spill over with color. 
when I'm designing the beds, I like to design them so that if an artist decides to come and set up an easel, which they do quite often, that they'll have a background to paint. The background is enhanced by eye-catching walls which wind through the garden. The walls are almost as old as the mansion itself and made of rare Carmel sandstone. Within the mosaic of another wall, a secret memento is lost in a still life of ivy. The stained glass window was created by Jorgensen himself, whose imagination dared to dream of this beautiful mansion and garden by the sea. Every bit as quaint and charming as the village it springs from, the gardens of the La Playa Hotel celebrate the vision and beauty of Carmel's artistic legacy. It's a picture-perfect secret garden painted by an artist in Carmel, California. Coming up, a Carmel garden that's a real lemon. This lemon, you can peel it and eat it just like you can an orange. The Secret Gardens returns in a moment. What? Powerful winds sculpt the trees in Carmel, California, dramatically framing the views of the pounding surf. Often called Carmel by the Sea, the area lives up to its reputation for spectacular shores and exhilarating vistas. And exploring the coast sometimes leads to an unexpected peek at the antics of coastal wildlife. But another surprising sight is secluded in the valley just a few minutes away. Here, a rare California holly farm thrives in Carmel's cooling rain showers. A lot of people are very surprised to find holly trees in California. And again, people think of California as being, uh, you know, a beach environment and always warm. <laughs> and it isn't. <laughs> holly Farm is an unexpected garden that comes with a tropical twist. The cool weather holly grows happily alongside warm weather plants, thanks to Carmel's perfectly mild climate. We have the best of everything here. The climate is absolutely ideal. For 10 years, Doyle Moses has quietly worked at his vision, transforming an overgrown holly patch into a tropical paradise that's tinged with a splash of Christmas cheer. Well, with his beard, I sure looked like Santa Claus, but... Nordic holly trees are nestled against lacy ferns, surprising visitors who might expect to find a northern California forest. Well, I wanted to create fun. That was my primary thing. And actually, I bought it. And when I started doing my research, I discovered it is the last holly farm in the state of California. So it, it is very significant from that standpoint. Dwarf geraniums, bananas, and beaver tail cactus form a unique tapestry within the garden walls. And paths meander through the dense five-acre paradise, leading to secluded nooks and hidden treasures. The beautiful blossom of the angel trumpet is often seen in California gardens, but they conceal a secret. Their fragrance only comes out after dark. It works as magic at nighttime. It sort of re it releases this pollen, and it it's absolutely magical, and it just drifts through the air. Visitors to California gardens may also expect to see lemon trees, but this one has a sweet secret. This is an eating lemon, and they're they're incredibly large. Let me pick one of these guys here for you. Here's, here's the size of this thing. You can see the size of it. But um, they're about four times the size of a normal lemon. This lemon, you can peel it and eat it just like you can an orange. But it's the mix of brilliant summer blossoms mingling with festive holly berries that captures visitors' imaginations. Standing tall on the path, 
Variegated English holly and deep green Dutch holly offer an unexpected delight. A lot of people have never seen a holly tree before, so they are sort of surprised to see that holly comes from a tree. I try to find and create a situation where everything can live, no matter if it's Nordic or Tropic or whatever, and I sort of, I'm trying to create that environment to show the endurance and the uniqueness of these plants. Growing in the unspoiled beauty of the California coast, the secret gardens of Carmel fill the landscape with living poetry. They are the perfect complement to the natural splendor of this quiet village by the sea. Join us again next time as we discover more hidden treasures in America's most spectacular secret gardens.